Hello and welcome to more gaming fans. I am your host, Joe Zamore here. And um, I got you week three of the UGL draft. So this week we have um, Samu. <laughs> I don't I forget what his team name is. I'm sure it'd be in the in the caption. But um with his team, I'm assuming there's gonna be uh Steelix lead, try to get rocks up and stuff. And uh he also has Tapu Lele, which I'm assuming is going to be Scarf this match. So I ran JJ Watt just fast enough to beat a Scarf. And we're going to explode all over it so it can go straight down and die. Uh, so basically Suicide Fodder to get rid of his best mon. Of course, Komo'o can always be a problem, but Mimikyu with the play rough can do some work. So hopefully we can get that in. But let's go ahead, let him uh, finish up his team, and we'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm expecting it to be a long, haxy battle. And, uh, like I said, we'll see how this goes. He could just send Kamo straight out and sweep me. So, who knows? Who knows? And if he does that, well, GG. <laughs> but alright guys, let's go ahead and see how this week 3 treats us, because we are 0-2 right now. Alright, so he got Kloss S, and yep, he goes straight into that. So that sucks for us. He probably saw that we don't have Comface, so he felt pretty pretty confident in it. Um, not much we could do here. Um, so let's go ahead and go straight to Mimikyu here. I mean, it's either going to belly drum or it's going to do the omni boost thing. If it attacks, I'd be surprised. But we got our counter here. And he taunts. Surprising. So it looks like it's a lead Komo. -o. I'm sure it still has a uh, sweeping prowess on it. But uh, it looks like it's more of a defensive uh, Komo. -o. So he hard withdraws, which obviously is a smart play. Goes straight to Kurt, which is the Steelix. And we go ahead and go for the play rough to play it safe, because he could have stayed in. And, uh, ooh, Rocky Helmet damage is not good for us. So we're already at about a quarter health there. So we're going to go back to Return Me. He's probably going to get his Stealth Rocks up for free now. Probably should have went Gold back. Oh well. At least we can get our Stealth Rocks up as well. For one piece. That was only one. Alright, and um, he sends out Steelix and Return Me is in. He goes ahead and gets some, some stuff up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the Taunt off. Because we don't want rocks on our side. He's probably just going to keep uh, speeding up though. We'll see. Hurt goes toxic here. So That's not good for us. <laughs> We're supposed to be a wall this game. But uh, because of that rock polish, he outsped us. So I mean, at least we get the taunt up so he can't get rocks out now. So now we're going to just try to get our rocks up. And let's see what he decides to do here. He'll probably uh, go to Mandibuzz and defog him away. That's probably why he's not too worried about trying to get his rocks up, I'm assuming. So he goes straight to the Vulture. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to get our rocks up. And as he defogs, we're going to get a big Stone Edge hit off. So even if we can't keep our rocks up, we're still going to do some pretty good damage to this thing. So let's go ahead and go Stone Edge here. D 
defog goes off. And Stone Edge is going to do a big chunk to this bird. A third damage. I was hoping for a little bit more damage than that, but oh eh, well. Now we can just go for uh, Stealth Rocks again. Assuming it's going to attack us now. And Vulture goes Roost. Well, that's also something I could have done. All right, so we're going to go D uh, Stealth Rocks, Stealth uh, Stone Edge, hit, and then go Earthquake, uh, predicting the defog, because I'm sure uh, Earthquake will hit a lot harder, if we live that long. <laughs> uh, you know what? I think I'm just going to keep going Stealth Rocks. I'd rather have Rocks up. Yeah, it, it would be nice to try to get, um, what's it called? Mimic you in here and set up, but then, uh, I, I can't Oko the Steelix. I don't think I can with Shadow Claw. Alright, so Defogs again, but we're going to get our Stealth Rocks back up right before we go down to Toxic. So that works out for me. So we go down to poison. We have our rocks up right now. And we're going to scare this thing out with uh, JJ Watt here. And we're just going to click Thunderbolt because we're going to see if he really thinks it's more important that he doesn't have rocks up or, or what. So let's go ahead and go Thunderbolt here. He'll probably just switch out to Steelix. But we're not in a position where we can just make that decision. Or prediction. Alright, so yeah, he does decide uh, rocks can stay for now. And he goes to Kurt. Alright, so now we're going to switch straight to Batman, Bat Boy here. He'll probably go Earthquake. Alright. Oh, he goes Iron Defense. Good move there. He's going to bulk up his defense really well. But his special defense is going to be hurting a little bit. We're going to go ahead and Super Fang here. We'll take some Rocky Helmet damage, but that's fine. And that does half of the damage, I mean, that does half of the HP that he had already. And Heavy Slam's going to come off and do a decent chunk. Okay, now we're going to go to Spider-Man here. Ass and uh, we're going to try to get the knockout there. Uh, Bat Boy still has some prevalence in this battle, especially with the Vulture around. Heavy Slam comes off and it's not going to do much to us. He's going to get a Toxic off though, so that's going to hurt us. But i rather get the Sticky Webs off. Yeah, let's get the sticky webs up. And I also noticed he did not bring the... Uh, oh, the vultures coming in. So he'll get the rocks off now. 
And he'll probably get the webs off the field, too. Should have went liquidation. I knew I should have went liquidation. Oh, well. Well, we can go liquidation now. And if you're wondering why we're not Dynamaxing anybody, it's because uh, this league does not allow Dynamax. Oh, the Vulture actually goes for knockoff instead. So we get a, a big liquidation off on this thing. Oh, not even close. This thing is extremely defensive bulky. So we're going to go for... Uh, let's go for liquidation again. Hopefully we get a defense drop. He'll probably defog this turn. Yep, defog comes off. Let's get that defense drop, please. Nope, no defense drop. All right, well, that's going to suck, but he's going to roost here, so let's go for Leech Life. And this battle is being a real stall fest. Not exactly what I was predicting was going to happen, but that's what's happening. All right, so Roost comes off. Leech Life, uh, super effective since he doesn't have... Uh, the flying typing right now. And we're almost back to full. And uh, we're pretty safe to go for another liquidation here. Oh, I should have went magic coat just in case it went toxic. Damn. That was a misplay. We don't know what other moves it has. But I'm, pre I'm assuming since it's a stall mon, it has toxic. Just like his Steelix does. No, but he goes straight withdraw. And where does he go to? He goes to Klaus. Alright, so we get liquidation off here. And now he's free to set up whatever he wants. He does have leftovers. Man, two mons of leftovers? I wonder if that's allowed. Um, we'll double check. And not much we can do here, so we're going to have to go out to um, Bat Boy. Oh, and he gets his Stealth Rocks up. I don't see anything about uh, item claws, so I guess he's safe there. Battle clauses, all clauses apply except for Taunt Path. Okay, so it's based off Smogon, so I guess there is no item clause. But let's go ahead and get a Toxic off here. Does he predict that and go... Aww. He goes to Kurt, of course. Alright, let's go back to Spider-Man here. I don't think he toxics this turn. He probably goes to Iron Iron Defense again. And if he does, I mean, it is what it is. Alright, so stones are being annoying to us right now. Let's go ahead and get the liquidation off. Without the defense boost, we should be able to knock this thing out, but you know. Bulky boy. Oh, and it still hangs on without the defense boost, but we get the defense drop. Rocky Helmet does play a part there. 
But now it's in range of Mimikyu to get knocked down. Alright, so Spider-Man is parried now. We're going to go ahead and get off the sticky webs here. And go down to the Toxic. Heavy Slam comes off. And down goes Spider-Man. Oh boy. I think we are in prime position now to go straight to Puppet Master. I mean, we can even go to No Name here and start sweeping some mons. Does Meteor Beam take out... Oh, man, I don't even have my calcs up. Steelix. Expensive. Meteor Beam does about... 12 to 14. I'm confident in that. At plus 1. Because it gets the boost before it attacks. 18 to 21. Alright. We should be good to go there. So. Do we have power? <laughs> okay we do. I was about to say. Did we not put that item on there? Because that would have sucked. So let's go ahead and get the meteor beam off. And start putting dents in his team. Alright, thanks to Power Herb, we can go ahead and uh, hit this thing. And it's faster? How? How? How is it faster? What the fuck just happened? Did we miss? Oh, Meteor Beam missed. Wow. Well, that's probably... Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Fuck us big time. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. That fucking sucks, dude. Oh, Kurt goes down. That's depressing. And now our other sweeper is really low on health. Yeah, it's pretty much GG at that point. No point in trying to set up, because, I mean, we only have uh, so much health because of the life orb. And then the disguise knocks off a few points. That sucks, guys. That really sucks. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's set up. Swords Dance. Why not? At least we'll get the KO on this King Con Kangas Con if we don't fucking miss the play rough. Alright, Disguise lowers our HP. Alright, we'll get at least two hits with the Life Orb. Uh, let's go ahead and go play rough. Play rough here. Dude, that, that miss is really defeating. Sums up. Oh, great. And it lives on one. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how this season's been going. Shit. This whole team, uh, this whole season's been shit, really. In the UGL. That sucks. That sucks ass. Well, I mean, we're gonna have to explode here if Tapu Lele comes in. That's really all we have for it. But other than that, we're free to Thunderbolt everything.
not that uh, it's going to help because we are adamant to make sure um, explosion kills. So it's just like, it's whatever at this point. <laughs> I mean, we can't do nothing to this thing either. So I'm just going to explode and let him knock out Golbat because, eh, fuck this game. <sighs> yeah, fuck it. I'm just going to explode. I don't care about trying to get the kill here. It's really not important. We're not going to win, so it doesn't matter. Fucking miss, dude. Fucking miss. Alright, guys. Well, that's it for me talking this week. So, uh, I'll see y'all next week. Enjoy the rest of the video.